Good morning everyone. So, Sunday morning, get my ass out of bed and I am off for a ride. Planning the Tour de Vale in a week from today, this Sunday. So, um, uh, yeah, bit of prep for that. So they have put uh, some tour or some guide routes on their website. So we've downloaded that. So it's about 45 mile route, but I've had to navigate to the route anyway. So we're looking at about 55 miles today. So just got to the start of it, other end of Stoke Mandeville. So we're going to crack on now, do that and 55 miles in. So let's go and see how we get on. So, off into Wendover now on this, what I was trying to say earlier, training route. Didn't say it very well, couldn't have picked a busier junction to film on, but, so this is a training route. I'm out with no breakfast, so I've just shoved a flapjack down my face, and I really struggle to eat on the bike. Just can't do it. So it's taken me about 10 minutes to eat the world's smallest flapjack but I need to put some fuel in so oh, eventually got it down and uh, I think we should be getting to the start of some climbs soon so oh so just coming up into Holton now uh, which is RAF Holton for any of you who don't know so there's usually something going on up here so hopefully we can see that and there should be a static plane right on the end of this lane so hopefully give you a picture of that and uh, just a really beautiful area Very sweet little boy, I stopped just up the road. Amazed, absolutely blew his mind that I seemed to have two water bottles on my bike. You know, the mind of a child, easily pleased. He just thought that was the bee's knees, that was really cool. But yeah, very sweet little boy, so he was quite funny. Um, so yeah, the GoPro, yeah, out of battery, wasp, uh, not working, so that's a real disappointment because yeah, all right, we don't have the hills that you do up north in England, but you know, we still have them. Um, and they're really really beautiful so and it's a great day the weather's come out banging so 
really, really good. So I'm just gonna shove one of these down my throat, ready for the next series of climbs. They've got some really horrible cattle grids over that way as well. They're huge. So uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to them. Um, but the bike performing really good today. Absolutely loving it. Sorry, I'm getting like really sweating my eyes. It's really stinging. Swallow this and let's, uh, let's go up Eyes and Beacon. Magnum PI, just going. Oh. oh man, them cattle grids. So nasty. Oh, mate. He's a posh in his rapid gear. Of Tom Selleck from Magnum PI in his Ferrari. I think it was a 308. Correct me if I'm not, if that was not Magnum PI's Ferrari, but oh, literally just on the start of the climb. Magnum PI joins. Oh no, the dreaded cattle grid. Oh, what a nightmare with directions today. Gone wrong again. Just had to pull a Yui, and the traffic is really heavy up here. It's a National Trust site up at Ashridge, so very busy. Lots of good people getting out, exercise, walks. Um, but they've, ri they've ripped the road up, so it's like shingle stone everywhere and I seem to have hit every pothole in the world. Useless. Lovely up here though. end to the video there you know especially footage wise out on the road um in all honesty i was absolutely knackered by the end of it um i think it was getting on for just you know getting on for about three thousand feet of climbing um at the end of that looking back at the strava sort of data but um yeah i was cream crackered at the end my knees tops of my thighs just absolutely like screaming at me so i was just like look enough's enough um you know i, I really I can't be bothered to film anymore um, but you know, did did it, did the route, um, you know, it's 55, 56 miles actually, so my, my prediction wasn't far off. Um, so yeah, all done and finished, uh, really, really happy with the results, um, and just a great, a great training ride out, and a nice little route that they happened to put on the website, so yeah, really, really happy. Um, so fingers crossed it pays dividends, and um, gets me fit, and gets me in a good, good place for when we do the sport either the next weekend. So yeah, next, next Sunday. So fingers crossed, we're all good and see you the next one guys.